switch the lights on, heart in your tummy, starve yourself, love. I was grinning constantly and complaining too. You see, it wasn't the easiest thing to come out and say. Well, it wasn't the easiest thing to come out. Now, I think I've decided that actually maybe you're not God. Maybe you're a big fat Buddha or Mother Nature or just a big cloud. <laughs> so basically, I'm hoping that my defining moment doesn't damn me for all time. The truth is, I can't change it. Change me. So if it does, then I guess I'm... Well... I'll carry on. My mum knew. I couldn't talk about it to anyone else. Especially not at work. See, I met this guy. My boss. I know, stupid, yeah. I hated seeing him every day, and though for one thing he didn't even know I was gay, and second he was my boss, and it was completely inappropriate to feel this way about him. And now I'm here, and I miss him. I miss the feeling. Because it was the most amazing feeling I've ever had. Even though my words were stuck, I enjoyed every second of wanting him. I used to sit at my desk all day, every day, wondering what I'd say if I ever got up the courage to speak to him. Needless to say, I was shit at my job. From the moment I clocked him, I didn't get anything done. Hey, you don't know me, or maybe you do. You just never show it. I'm the guy. Sits at that desk, the one with the overgrown bush, which is good to hide behind when I am blushing is all I want to say. Every time you switch past me, all oh, that shame how gray is hey. Hey, and he turned and said, Hey. And I said, I was just wondering if you were free for a chat sometime. And he said, y Yeah, sure. Is it work related? And I said, No. <laughs> and he stalled a second and said, Coffee then. And I smiled and said, Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. And that's it. I went from there. My defining moment. The moment I stopped living inside my head and started living out loud. I know you might not approve, but love's love, right? It's giving. Selflessly. And I loved. I really loved. I 
something I'm not. 